Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I buy and sell things we find from thrift stores, yard sales, garage sales, rag houses, wherever we can find them, and we flip them onto sites like eBay, Poshmark, Depop, Mercari, wherever we can find to sell them. And these are our top five best finds of the last week. Let's take a look. So yeah, we've taken a little bit of a break from this video. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for any sort of period of time, you probably know that we did this sort of every week. Uh, and during the holidays, lost track of it a lot. But we're back on it. I'm going to try to get these out fairly regularly uh, in addition to a bunch of other videos. So bear with me. Anyways, this week we thrifted at a lot. A lot of good stuff. Uh, lots of good stuff. In fact, so many, so many items that... Um, it was hard to pick uh, top five, but I wanted to pick a little bit of variety, so I threw a little bit of variety in here. So at number five, we have this shirt, and this is really truthfully a thrift tragedy. Uh, it really shouldn't make, it's not top five in the sense that um, it's like going to make a lot of money or anything like that. It's top five because um, it would have been cool, but it's this Osborne's, the Osborne family from the TV show in the early 2000s t-shirt. Uh, I was digging in the rag house, and I saw the All Sport tag, and I was like, oh my gosh. All sport tag, what's it gonna be? And I pulled it out and it was this t-shirt. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. And then I was like, and it just felt different. And I was like, hmm, what's what's up with that? And it's completely dry rotted all the way around. Yes, unfortunately, this is probably a dead stock t-shirt and it is just shreds like with barely a pull. That's super unfortunate, super sad. I'm super bummed. <laughs> Uh, this would have been a cool t-shirt to have and uh, sold or keep kept in the collection But unfortunately while it is super cool and definitely and makes the list for being what it once was uh, It's unfortunately not going to be sellable really so Bummer anyway at number four. We have something really interesting. I don't normally pick up belts uh, But this is a new belt new with tags belt um, You can see it has the original price tag it's not been worn. I bought it at a thrift store that had I guess like an old uh, uh, Western store had been uh, had donated a bunch of stuff to them and this was in there this is a leather belt so all this leather on the back is probably like cowhide I think it says leather lined or something but the leather and the skin on the outside is elephant so this belt is made of elephant skin and I bought it for 750 um, it was uh, 30 size 32 made in USA um, this uh, skin is not allowed. It's banned from ma from manufacturing, so you cannot buy this belt in. You can't buy elephant anymore, as far as I'm aware. And so this uh, is brand new, and it's made of elephant, uh, old elephant. <laughs> it's probably from the 90s, from, from what I can tell. Anyway, I don't know how valuable it is. Originally, it was $30, but obviously this was before uh, it was banned as a, a manufacturing product. So we will see. Uh, it could be, you know. 50 could be 60 70 80 hundred dollars who knows but i thought it was pretty interesting you don't find this type of stuff out there all the time so definitely cool at number four and at number three more animal products uh this one is pretty interesting i actually have a second fur coat um this is a big old fur coat all goes all the way down so it's a big old large fur coat and normally i don't pick up fur coats just in general um they have to be sort of a certain quality or a certain style um, but this one was interesting because it is very, very long fur. Um, and it, it's certainly real. And it's certainly white. And I recently just sold a big fur of, like, full size, just like this, coyote uh, coat for, like, $300. So it's there's definitely some value still in fur, fur coats. But I bought this for, like, 5 bucks, And I cannot figure out, and I'm not, a, like, a fur expert by any means, but I cannot figure out what type of animal this is. It's really long fur. Um, white there is some sort of uh, like some coloration in it too I assumed maybe coyote or something like that uh, but who knows I don't know and if you know drop it in the comments let me know because uh, I'd love to know but I, I got this for five bucks if it turns out to be coyote it's really similar to the one I bought and sold uh, just a month or so ago so I could see three hundred dollars of being a possibility as well but uh, maybe maybe not I have not been able to find a a maker of this particular coat so we'll find out i gotta examine it a little bit more but either way at number three the possibility of a 300 dollars payday is pretty cool 
Now at number two, we have a t-shirt. We're getting into some t-shirts. Picked up some t-shirts from the rag house. This one was the first one of the week. I found this on Monday, I think. We got the new kids on the block tee. Uh, this one's pretty sick. It's in good condition. It's on the, the Royal First Class tag. Obviously single stitch. Size XL, so size large. Obviously going to be boxy. New kids on the block tees are not like huge. They're not super valuable uh, right now. This is probably like a $70, $75 t-shirt, I think. I can't imagine it being much more than that. But always cool to find that vintage t-shirts for sure. In fact, it's funny. You can actually see that they tried selling this t-shirt at one time at a yard sale for 10 cents. Um, and I found a bunch of other clothes with the same sticker, same label um, in the rag house. Ooh, look at that. And uh, all super cheap, but all super... 80s 90s so it's pretty cool i bought somebody's super 90s fit everything was there uh jeans other shirts and stuff like that so pretty cool definitely cool at number two all right at number one we have the best t-shirt of the week probably the best find of the week um best single find maybe uh it might not be the most valuable but it's one of my favorites for sure uh the offspring x day on the ombre t-shirt on the late 90s early 2000s giant tag if you want to learn more about tags check the eye above I uh, did a whole video on Giant, so some great content there. Anyway, this is the best t-shirt. It was all by itself in a big pile of clothes. No other clothes of its age or any or or of that interest. So uh, pretty random just to sort of find it. But that's kind of how it goes at a rag house. It is double stitch, being from the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, either way, I love finding stuff like this. If I could find one of these every day, that would be brilliant. But anyway, we got the offspring at number one. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.